The Tarelgan Bowls Club. Amazing food for you and your family. Function rooms for celebrating with your friends. Corporate spaces for meetings and conferences. With special benefits for members, visit us today at the Tarelgan Bowls Club. More than just a bowls club. Wherever I am in the world, there's a hence light bowl for you. On all surfaces, all conditions, the grip, the comfort in the hand, fantastic bowl to play with. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back, 2024 Henslite Vic Open action for you this afternoon, the Traugan Bowls Club, it's the final round of sectional play, women's singles action coming to you, on the mat from Yarra Glen is Kirsten Day up against Haley O'Reilly from Altona, and the winner of the section to progress through to the knockouts tomorrow. First to 21, and to join me in commentary this afternoon, Manny Tolbray back on the mic. Good hey Sammy, Matthew. looking Hi. forward to this match. Good start from Hayley. So the situation fairly straightforward here. Kirsten Day needs to win by a minimum of eight shots to top the section. So a 21-13 result or better will be enough. Anything else, including a Haley O'Reilly win, we'll see her progress into the knockout rounds tomorrow. And it started in pretty good fashion here. This one just falling short, but might be close to county. It might be three early on. I think it is, Sammy. Draw here for Kirsten. Needs to at least get second shot. Just needs to settle down late. Trying hard. Yeah, good question. Well, Definitely holding. Yeah, I'd be asking. How many is it though? Does that last bowl of Kirsten's cut any out or not? Haley O'Reilly still with last bowl there and might just play to sit it through, Matty O. Looking to do that, Sammy. But oh, hasn't. What an effort, even just sitting that bowl down. Might have made an interesting sales on by. What do you think? One or two, Sammy? I'm going to favour two, but not a lot of confidence in that call. Mario, we're going to throw a tape on it to confirm. Opening end here. So just to inform our viewers, Haley won her first round against Margaret Hunt, who's marking. We'll get signal from Margaret here. Margie. Two from Margaret. Two Hunt. match. Signal. Well, good start from Haley. Obviously, only needs to get to 14 shots, but... I don't think that'll be in her uh, win the game. mindset there, Sammy. I think she wants to win this. Win the game. So, as you mentioned, Matty O's section 13 here. Haley won this morning against Margaret 21 to 10. Yeah, I spoke to Margaret after that game. And um, she said, yeah, Haley was really dominant in that match. She hadn't met Haley before. <laughs> Thought she was really nice, but <laughs> not very nice in the way she... Uh, beat her and then Margaret came out and responded quite well against Kirsten Margaret came out last round and beat Kirsten 21-17 so a tight contest if we had a live scorecard you'll find that Margaret was quite up in that match and oh, Kirsten okay. came back this is what happens when you do uh, a bit of prep Sammy and get your sheet going and 
I'm not going to keep going on about this. Haley looking to respond to Kirsten's. Oh, it's a good bowl. Sammy. To Nathan, runs all the way up to the line. Just full short of the jack. Really good shot. Has one on one behind now. Good set up. You would have seen Haley on a couple of our live stream premier matches leading for Eltona. Yeah, played the majority of the season in there. I, I saw one of her ones at Bandura. Side. She was really, really good. Just falling short of making finals this year. Wait, good again from Haley. Doesn't want to expose the jack. No, oh, she's hiding it. This is good. Well, this is a good start early. Opening couple ends, grouping the poles very nicely, holding a couple. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Why don't I think of that? Nice clipboard of that. Nice clipboard as well. Nice and shiny. <laughs> Alrighty. Kirsten changing over yeah. to the back end here. Don't mind this. Try and sit the last bolt. Coming a bit. Bit harder at this, Sammy. And I'm sure the girls will quickly learn that they haven't heard already this broadcast side with any sort of weight. They'll just hold off. It's forced Haley to protect at the back. So, see what Wayne Kirsten uses this time around. And just draw up to it. Sit off the jack eye bowl, bowl and falls in a bit close. Missing wide again. So, good start here from Haley O'Reilly. Back to back ends to open proceedings. Another two by the looks of it, Matty. I'm already putting two on the scoreboard. Couple good games under the cover here this afternoon as well. Final sectional round, Andraffen in action on the ring next door. Emma Spicer, who we saw in the mixed pairs, playing in the middle of the rink, and Cheryl Atkinson over the far side as well. So keep you updated. There's some good games happening. I think we can actually see our mixed pairs winner from last year, Leonie Flynn. Oh, there you go. Didn't even see that. There oh. you go. Playing Annette McCormick, and that's a live game, that one. They both won their, their both match. On one win, so when it takes all. Yep. Against one of our international bowlers, Adeline from San Francisco. Fiona just informing us that there's uh, four states all live streaming at the moment. Yeah, no, we know JT how streaming is the best by far. <laughs> well, it always He's always looks... hovering around JT. Yeah, yeah he's I know. Not on just the mark. Little... He wants on. <laughs> he reads a comment. And... <laughs> Doesn't know how to have a break, does he? Who knows, that third headset's still here. Oh, we'll hide sure. it from him. <laughs> <laughs> sure we'll be keen to oh, jump Hayley, on. Hayley is, has come to play, Later Sammy. On, but it's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Spot on weight. Yeah, he's just found it early and then yeah. grouping her bowls really well after that. That was probably the difference between Olivia Slade and Selena Goddard this morning.
Well, more the speed than anything. It is. It's it? just catching Kirsten at the moment. Far from getting back to the line. She's putting herself under pressure. Harley will want to put another one in to apply some more. Has she done it, Sammy? Yeah, it does well. Does it oh, bigger target or is it run away from behind? from the family behind the rink. Yeah, Shuggy's come down for the afternoon to watch how things are playing out. Started very well, but Kirsten oh. last, just needs to run it out the last little bit. Well, that's going to help a lot. That is. How many is it cut out? It's not. I don't think it's not for shot. I reckon it's one the way of Haley. JT doing a tremendous job. <laughs> Another walk by. Keeping us up to date, did. put a few timeouts on people talking him up in the comments. It's, that's outrageous. Afternoon, Scotty. Majon. Surprised you're up so uh, so early. Yeah. <laughs> well, right, JT well. was right. It's another one to Haley. Good cut down there by Kirsten. <laughs> He's still... <laughs> Thanks, Margie. Opening three ends away of Haley right the early days. Five nil the lead, playing 21 up here. Situation Kirsten Day needs to win by a margin of at least eight shots to progress. Anything else? Haley O'Reilly comes out on top of the section. JT talked about first bowl pressure and Haley applying it. wider with this one but nice pace again yeah I think Kirsten just needs to settle in here Sammy Earlier can be tricky rink this stream rink here under the roof. Rank seven. Haley looking to correct. Oh, her weight is spot on. It's just in the areas. Yeah, especially while the opponent is locked in early doors. Just gotta try and stick around, minimize the count where possible. Give yourself some time to hopefully find Wait in line. This one just pulling up short, so a chance again for Haley now to pile the pressure on. Just needs Wowee. to run the trip and oh, it's running the trip okay. No, it's, it's in. Okay, Kirsten. I like this. Yeah, having first, a walk down, just first having a look. I've seen it, just to take a little bit of an extra time. Options, Matty Oates. Just got to be a nothing else than a forehand. She's going to have to draw it. it. Yep, like she did in the last end. By the right speed, he can draw the shot underneath the last one. She just needs a meter on her last. Oh, 
already shaping up on the forehand side. There's Kirsten, multiple down here. Yet to get on the scoreboard in this contest. It's got a little bit of pace on it, Sammy, and it's high. Tried to play a little bit of weight up there, try to search up and land one of the bowls. Misses wide, and this might be very full close count. to a full count, Matthew. on it but pretty pretty confident Matty boy that this will be a four it's a great start for Haley O'Reilly four ends in a row it opens up a 9-0 lead just about already halfway there of course playing 21 up here at the Vic Open in our singles games Relentless from Haley. Another great start. Yeah, the first bowl, I don't know if she's drawn a touch him many times, but what she's done, she's played the right line and always been sort of a foot or so or pass and then working back from there and now to with her second a few times and being able to get them in the area. And Kirsten, impressive. unfortunately, she's just been a little bit through. So she really needs to find it with her second bowl. Looking better, Sammy. And gets a bit of the jack and shot. Yeah, good correction was needed. Still a chance for Haley to sit through the last bowl. Not a bad effort here, Matthew. Oh, I'll tell you what. I've just drawn this. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh. Just to find it. It's a good effort to find the gap without touching any of the shot bowl and falling back in. So Kirsten still holding. There's a lot of uh, instructions going on at the moment, Sammy, amongst the rinks. Kirsten's changed over here to the forehand side. Just trying to beat Haley's last one. Oh, she's close. Very close. Great bowl. Shots. Makes a couple. Alrighty, back over to Haley. Haley doesn't need to do much more than her last bowl. Similar sort of shot, just it's a result this time. It's on target again, Sam. How are we going now? For the jack. Oh, gets it oh, through. Through the hole. <laughs> Can we see? She done enough, though. I don't know. Very tricky to tell. It's a good end of bowls by... That's a great end. ...either way. See if we can get any sort of indication as to what it might be. From the marker. We'll see if we can get Margaret Hunt. From Rosanna. See what JT. He, 
Ne <laughs> <Measure. laughs> So he's not going down to the limb at all? Yeah, no, we care for that. Yep. To be fair, it is pretty pretty close and tricky angles well, to tell, even with the camera shot we have. I think Kirsten's still. playing as if she's down. I was say, Kirsten still has one to come to turn either of her own on the way in or sit the ball out to the left of screen. Well, we're going to find out, Sammy. Yeah, she did play that as if she was down there. Yep. Played quite a bit of weight, so possibly one down to this... I don't really want to call it, Matthew. I was going to say the bowl on the centre line here, just to the right of the jack. Well, the tape is out once again, so no fairly shortly. I think oh, the so. The front one. Yeah. The back one. Okay. Be an umpire call. Yeah, it's just about a four way measure here between two Kirsten's front ones and Haley O'Reilly's. We'll see which way it is. Oh, well, Kirsten, gone the way. Kirsten has, Day. has the mat. See what Jamie. Margie gives us. Kirsten. Alright, Kirsten on the board here. Better end, a couple of nice draw bowls. Haley trailing the jack with. Bowl. Got it through the hole. It just didn't really go far enough in the end. A bit of a round the grounds for you, yeah, Matthew, this Saturday door. afternoon. We've got Ann Draffin leading Rowanna Smith, 5 1. Hunt and Gibkus, is it? Gibkus? That's Steph Hunt from City Memorial. She's leading 2-1. It's Emma Spicer, 4, and Bartell. I'm not too sure. Bartell. Emma leading 4-1. Battle of... Leonie Flynn and Anne McCormick. And, sorry, Annette McCormick. And Leonie Flynn leading 3-2. Colour name is 7, and I think it's Ross... Zero and Cheryl Atkinson leading 4 2 over Fleming. Pretty sure that's Maddie Fleming's partner. <laughs> no, it's not. A bit of work to do here once again. Stuck around for second shot. Could be far away. Haley just sticking to this side of the Drawing up there is just fall short. Not sure if it counts. It might only be one. Let's see if we can get a bit of indication. Kirsten coming to investigate the situation. Yeah, Kirsten needs another close one, or Haley might be trying to get rid of that bowl. It's a good call, Matty Oat. Do you do that in singles, Sammy? Play the one side? Or try to? sort of throw it and hope for the best based on performance last weekend. Oh, come on. You made the champ of champs. All right. I think you're right, mate. I think Kirsten needs to... There's another close one. You can probably look at that and play weight and pop the jack. There's a one bowl target. And as you said, if she misses, it gives Haley a chance to sit that one through to make three or four.
Let's see Ollie Roberts in the uh, messages again. Not too sure who he's talking about. Winding back the clock. Don't think he's talking about me. Oh. Drive. Misses, but does clip on Haley's. So does Haley attack this ball? Depends if it's one or two. Or gets rid of it. If it's two, you draw for three anyway. Yeah. Probably draw anyway and try and turn your own three on the way in on the forehand. Question. Yeah. Unless you go, well, if it's one, you maybe go flat out at the bowl for three. Sammy, she's going backhand. Tough shot to land it through. It's only draw weight. So looking to sit on it and... Yeah, not quite what she was after there. Still wins the end. This one, five of the first six ends now. We'll wait for confirmation as to whether it's one or two. By the way, it's a cracking start for Haley O'Reilly, of course. Wins the game, tops the section, but also 14 shots would be enough, given shot differential also comes into play here if wins are all square. It's only one, Sammy. Correct. So, 10 1 the lead now for Haley O'Reilly. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going, Ollie. <laughs> Just more bowlers hanging uh, shit on me, Sammy. Good. That's not good. Ex teammates hanging shit on me. Colleagues. Colleagues? Oh, you can't tell me. I don't cop my fair. Please. Dose of uh, banter. We look after you, don't you? Oh, about you that. do not. You probably a little bit more than the others. Thank you. Where is JT talking to? And where is uh, Jimmy? Can't uh, see him. I don't know. He's pretty good at doing a few disappearing. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's Cowie probably all having a snooze up All looked there, upstairs something. to see if he was still. Never mind. Back to the bowls. Back to the game. Far more interesting. Haley again. Relentless pressure right yep. in the area. Kirsten on the forehand side. This is a pretty good reply, Sammy. Still holding Kirsten here. See if she can. Probably the first time Matty Oshie's found it with her first bowl of the end. See if she's yep. able to group the next three. This is pretty close as well, Sammy. If she's got the weight here, she's okay. Past the front would and be enough. She has. And a bit of sort of nuisance value in the way of the draw line there, I would have thought. Matty can still draw it around there and get to the. What is the shot bowl? Or promote her front bowl on the backhand. Prefers the Matty O call. I cheated. I saw the way she was holding oh, her bowl. I wasn't looking at all. <laughs> yeah, not far away crashing mm. and turning up a roll and a half and now making it really difficult. What does Kirsten do now? Holding two. First time she's been holding. Stepping on the mat with her third bowl, I would have thought. Did the job with her last two bowls this way. Come this direction, the previous end. Sticking with the forehand. Can still draw this underneath the head. Gonna find a nice little port there between Haley's front two. It's 
Sammy. Not there. What is Haley doing? Oh, I'd love to see Haley play a bit of weight at this. There's a chance to get both the bowls out. I'm sure she's got to drive. No, electing to draw with that line. Oh, it needs to run a little bit more. Well, that's a very, very fair attempt to draw that hold on the backhand. Kirsten's just asking out Marker, Marker, Margaret. So Margaret Hunts, I think, saying, I, I favour your, favor yours, but it's, it's a measure. Tricky little head, this one. Mm. What are your? What would you be doing, Sammy? I'd be coming to have a look first to see what it is, and then making my call from there. It really all depends as to whether I'm holding or not. In a situation like this, I'd be pretty happy to win another end and take control of the mat. Oh, oh. or draw another one. Sneak in and <laughs> nearly draw a third. I think it'll count. Well, Haley's conceded one. Conceded two. two. Look, at the look of the third. I don't think it has snuck in, but Kirsten, given the situation and what's on offer, Matty, obviously stick the tape on it. So a uh, couple ends in a row in this direction to Kirsten Day. And two, I think. Fernandes. Sammy. Just a two. couple. Three now, the lead of Haley O'Reilly. 21 up. How's Cassandra going? A Not sure. I'm good sure Cass will be playing game earlier, wasn't it? Courtney Thompson. Unfortunately, because there's so many games today, it's very hard to uh, live score. We'll do our best tomorrow, though, Sammy. JT has all the answers. He's saying it's 3 all. Yeah, they're just on the green behind, behind us, us here, yep. directly outside the undercover, so... Oh, JT yeah. doing a, they are too a good little job. <laughs> yeah. 10-3, yeah, sorry. I've been giving it to people for making that mistake all week, and I've fallen into the trap of looking at the scoreboard that's never correctly... Up to date once he finishes in you're better. You're better than that. I so. know. Sorry. Kirsten with good speed with her first, just missing wide and Haley. That'd be the lo their loosest opening bowl from Haley. Yeah, all I reckon. Game. You're right. Bad home. Meter and a half pass on the centre line. Couple ring scores from the green run as well. Andraffen leading six shots to five on the ring next door. Emma Spicer leading 7-4. Three all between Gibkiss and Hunt. And Emma Cormick also leading seven shots to five. And is that Trish Callanane in the end? 12 shots to nil. Over Ross. Would that be right? Cheryl Atkinson also ahead eight shots to three. As Haley O'Reilly corrects well. I'm sure if it's enough for shot. and managing to find the gap runs all the way through. Could be holding this sort of tricky angles to tell. Haley doesn't want to clip this any further in. Slight touches promotion it promotionally. 
Williams and doesn't seem to phase Max our way back to the mat. See if we can get any sort of indication as to who may be holding. We don't have any paddles from our markers who are players. Well, yeah, get them out for the knockout games tomorrow. Might be an idea, Matthew. I think so. Especially if we end up getting a job marking. <laughs> Which I'm hoping for. Sorry to the players that might be playing tomorrow <laughs> if the rumours are true. <laughs> Just sliding on past. Comes to a handy spot. Any ideas, JT, as to who might be holding here? Measure again. Very hard to tell. Hey, the tape out. To draw on the backhand. Safe call. Matty O'Brien tuning in for this one. Either on lunch break or possibly marking duties and has the phone out while marking up and down the green. <laughs> sure Maybe he's live scoring. That. Well, right. we'll find out, Sammy. I'm, favour I'm favouring Kirsten's bowl. Kirsten seems pretty confident, pops mm. the mat down, and it's back it's to back one. ends for the it's first two time ends in, in a row. game. Not even Brian's all finished for the day. Oh. No messing about. All right, Sammy, I'm going to let you go. Yeah, JT's been itching to get back <laughs> on the mic. <laughs> He's been doing half started, his commentary so just behind us. Off you go. Have a good See rest of the call. Radio. Cheers, mate. Pretty short length here. Matt at the top of the line. Jack at the top of the line as JT jumps back into the hot seat. Wasn't itching. Just get a message to say, get Matty O off and get me back on. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Haley O'Reilly's been very, very impressive in what is it we've now played. Eight ends, obviously that's irrelevant. Twenty-one up. Score currently ten shots to four. I thought this was going to be a good match. Um, I've been watching on the sidelines, as you know, adding me little quips as I've been walking past. Couldn't help myself. Um, been very impressed with Haley. Uh, had a little bit to do with Haley only probably eighteen months ago. Uh, she debuted for Victoria and then the Red Wings stateside, and. Um, she, her improvement has been remarkable and I uh, see a lot of upside in her and see big things in the future for her, for sure. And as Matty O and I, Matty o and I touched on, played the majority of season for Altona in their Premier A side. Mm -hmm. Good ball there by Kirsten. Obviously going very well. Changing to the forehand here. The second ball. Kirsten just starting to find it a little bit Correct. now. yep. Spot on. This one just needs to settle down. Just slightly on past. Brendan Elliott tuning in for our final game of sectional play here this afternoon. Doesn't miss a beat, Brendan. And got the speed to run far enough for a second. Well, Probably maybe framed it a little bit. Gives Haley chances if she's just arriving. Could play it freshly tighter. Yeah, definitely tighter. Does it have the weight to clear the front? Probably what? just. It was good enough to draw a shot, but not quite enough to get to the bowl and go forward. Way gets herself a good second shot now. Has options either side. Kirsten sticking to the backhand draw first and Haley surely plays something similar. I think so. She just wants to know if the last bowl's last bowl's jack short. high. Not short. It is a bowl short though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just plays the same bowl, gets her own, or just can slide through the hole. Uh, changing to the backhand. Yeah. I think she's tight. Yeah. Sammy. I think she knew it out of the hand as well. Didn't quite out of the line. And 
I'd argue she, she rushed it a little bit as soon as she got the ask the question. Yeah. There, was, there wasn't a lot of time on them in the prep in terms of after make, asking that question. Yeah, could have played the same same shot. Anyway, it's another in the way of Kirsten Day and I got a score, don't I? Shots to five now. It's the great thing about singles, as long as you're scoring they're not and the game continues. That's it, so three in a row now the way of Kirsten and similar length in thrown here. I've never seen a guy drink as much tea as Muddy O does. I was thinking that. This long week and a half, you really learn about some people. And Matty, o, Matty O loves a peppermint tea on his Monday afternoon. What's the day today? Friday? Saturday? Saturday afternoon? I'll Look at him. I've lost track of what I don't know. Well. I've never drank a peppermint tea on a Saturday. I'll give you the tip. <laughs> Been on his best behaviour the last couple of days. No. That's Matty O. <laughs> <laughs> uh. It's even better ribbiting when he can't have any reply. How good is it? He's looking at this third headset. He's not getting his hands on it. Good again from Kirsten. Yep, very good. Last three ends in a row. Starting to build a little bit of momentum. Massive difference. Her first, say, four or five ends. Her first and second bowls were probably a little loose. Last four or five ends. Drastic change. And we've seen it the m probably most of the games we've streamed here at Traralgon so far this week. It's not an easy rink to jump on and find straight away. Oh, they, I think Shane's got the reference to the grey hoodie guy from last year. <laughs> you don't know about grey hoodie guy, do you? No idea. I wasn't here last year. <laughs> it's is probably it something you can fill us in on, or is it sort of you had to be there to know what's happening? Bit of both. The, we were live streaming, I think, a pairs match between Thor and Flaps. And uh, Guy sitting me on the back of the green, and just someone in the comments go, See the guy in the grey hoodie behind the rink? He's literally sat on that screen of beer for an hour. <laughs> and then he, he only had like not much left in it and then probably sat on it for another hour and like all the comments were just every time they've panned to that end everyone was just trying to see whether he's had a drink out of his scooter that's pretty good I, yeah. I like that <laughs> become a bit of a subset of the whole match so we haven't seen him again at this year's no video. no he's been here I talked been to him the other day okay. he was trying to find his grey hoodie but he couldn't find it <laughs> alrighty just missing the line it was a nice wait to sit either of the shot bowls or move the jack what it does do is open up a chance for Haley O'Reilly to add a third. It's getting down from there. Fraction Quite wide. Easy to do on that side of the rink. Well, <laughs> Shane, it's the same seat, JT. So beyond the rink today is Huey O'Reilly, which is Haley's dad. I don't think he'll sit that long on a schooner, though. No chance. <laughs> Kirsten jumps over to the forehand side and just missing wide, so... Huey's a ripping guy, in he, Sammy? Absolute star. Down here for the weekend. You can tell me earlier, not playing. Gotta get there. Haley's awfully close here. She might make a three. Yeah, that'll be good enough. So she stops that run of three ends. Yep. Score is 13-5. Absolute cracking starter once again. It's a 
quality performance so far. As we said, picked up a three last end now, landing 13 shots to five. It's 21 up contest. Only needs one more shot to guarantee her place in the knockout rounds. Got about that part, yes, yeah. yes, that's Obviously, right. Obviously, full focus is to come out and play well and win the game. I wonder if she knows that. I would, I would want to know that. Yeah, yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah. Because if you're behind, it's not worry. You, you, you change your your, yes. mi your little mini goals and where you got to get to and things like that, you yeah. know. And so you don't put as much pressure on yourself, and hopefully you relax and compose yourself. Oh, does anyone feel? Like we might have got that on stream there. <laughs> Kirsten, the boss man pays his debts early. Apply <laughs> from Kirsten gets only good enough for third shot. It's a good bowl. Something else to work with. Afternoon, Al. Hope you're well. Uh, yeah, the score, according to the scoreboard, it's 8-6 uh, between Rowanna Smith and Ann Draffin in favour of Rowanna, but this might be even s still a score to go up there yet. Rowanna Ro with the mat again. Yep. Might be something to go on. Kirsten just asking our marker what the situation is. Well, maybe it's hard to tell. Close here, JT, if this runs up to the front bowl and works off it. Oh, I don't know if it did enough. I don't think it has. Superb effort. Okay, can Haley O'Reilly play Kirsten shot first and try and Move the jack around the corner. Turn around, bowl in is also good. Something like this. Uh, well played. Probably makes a couple. Makes it harder for Kirsten to get at. We'll give some uh, other scores across the greenies. Sammy. Uh, JT. Atkinson versus Fleming, and that's another Atkinson. That's Cheryl. 17-5. In favour of Cheryl Atkinson. Uh, we've got Trish Cullinane playing Ross, 17-0 in favour of Trish. We've got McCormick playing Flynn. McCormick is leading 12-6. Spicer versus Bartell. Spicer leading 10-4. And Gibkiss versus Hunt. Hunt leading 12-7. for the forehand with a bit of weight. Could do anything from there, and it did. A little fortunate, but when you play with weight, sometimes these things happen. And it's two, I think. Pretty sure it was two to Kirsten. Score now 13-7. Oh, I've missed that. What's happened there, JT? What do you mean? Last time I left, Haley was holding a good couple. Uh, Kirsten played weight. A little wide. Got a little bit of uh, luck. One of those ones. Screwed in and took both Haley's bowls out. Okay, so game on again. 13-7.
Joshua, you've got a very good name, but it is. Still alive. Still a chance of taking out the section. Absolutely. Just has to peel off another 14 shots in a row. Haley wins one more round. She'll continue her singles campaign, which will continue tomorrow on Sunday. No knockout rounds anywhere in the men's or women's draws. Great starter. Hayley. I was just watching Andra for next door. She's taken the mat right back up. Right up. Sammy. And uh, what do I notice about people who take the mat up? They go to the 21 metre mark and they always nearly g take two steps from it. Two mats or two yards? It seems yeah. to be a common thing. I'll take two steps from the 21 metre mark and that's where I'm putting the mat. I don't know what it is. It must be in everybody's head that I... I know everyone likes to give themselves a little bit of room to yeah, play with down the other end. Yeah, like to see someone just back themselves on a jack roll for, I've a, seen for rare, a game to rare bring occasions. it all the way up and just throw it anywhere between the two metre margin. you still got a two metre jump margin. Jump yeah, yeah. This Kirsten comes down here. I think she's just... Oh, no, it's hanging. I nearly, I nearly went the early crow. Great bowl, Kirsten Day. Yeah, there's a few times where... Those sort of conversion shots look like they're ducking under the head in the last little bit. They'll just hold on for the jack. Haley switches the backhand. It's paid three. This becomes a little bit of an interesting end. Or does it? Looks like a great track. What's it do, Sammy? Does it... Oh, maybe cuts out the front one and that's it. Brent, I never said I'd give myself two metres because I would. <laughs> I don't think I could roll the jack. <laughs> I think I always take the two steps too. That's why it sort of rung true for me when I saw Anne do it. All right, I tell you what, Kirsten's pretty good again here. Yep. Yeah, it's two at least. It's away, definitely counts. I, I'm back and it's three at least. Big ball here from Haley. She's under that. She's awfully close. Oh, great bowl, Haley O'Reilly. What an absolute shot. And I don't know if the guys are aware of it, but that secures her place in the knockout rounds. Obviously, the game continues, JT. Still first at 21. What a shot that was. Couple down again. Draws one. Stretches out the length of the end slightly. Just missing her weight with the first. Kirsten obviously didn't want to play the back end and crash in Taylor's first one. Play the forehand side. Have you been in a scenario like this, Sammy? And again, we don't know whether the girls know the scenario where you know you've already secured the section, but you haven't. Yeah, not that I can think of. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if they're aware of it or not. Good correction there by Haley. Oh, if it was me, and I was in the the situation where I know I've secured the section, I would actually be then 
playing different lengths. I was about to say that. Different yeah. spots, you know, just to try and give myself some practice because you just you never, never know if you end up back in here. Yep. Yep. You might end up back in here or whatever's going to happen later on down the tournament. Have you had a coach in the sports semi? Uh, don't think so, JT. No coaching. Just picked it up. I think I've learnt from probably watching others and watching a lot of bowls yeah. that's I've seen a fair bit telecast on live streams and TV. Maybe you should go with some blessed coaching with Barry Lester. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> How do I do that? Well, uh, you know, obviously Barry's played hundreds of games for Australia. Um, many, many games for Victoria over the years. We travelled all around the world. Supposedly used to carry me too a bit, but, you know, that's another story altogether. Um, but he has a coaching business and he's jumped on board with support with um, the Vic Open this year. So probably, if you're curious, and I've seen Baz coach, and he's really, really good. Um, go to www.barryleicester.com.au or barry at blessedcoaching.com.au comments with some positive feedback from clinics he's run during the year when he's been down here in Melbourne absolutely he's done Melbourne areas he's down, been down this way yeah, he's done at the Wimmera areas, yep, yep. Uh, Brent yes they probably are this year um, we've got four days in a row this is the third of the fourth days here at Trelgan then we'll head back to Morwell and then the last two days are our finals days And uh, they get split over the, the two to the two clubs. What's the score? Is it three, you think, Sammy, or four here? Yeah. about be all in wouldn't they here JT big bowl here from Kirsten the front one probably beats the the back a little oh, bit of weight bit of weight here on the backhand side change things up she's not far away she's got to clear her first one though oh well the stun and upper stun and upper for second, second shot, shot. <laughs> had to hit that absolutely square going to be one to Haley. Score fifteen seven. For the predominant of this match, Sammy, Haley's first ball's been probably been really good, which has set her up a fair bit in this match. Yeah, it set up the... It's well, every time... I say, you know, when Maddie was on earlier, hasn't nailed it every end, but just finishing a good spot, sort of two foot past the jack and then being able to work back from there. And then grouped them pretty well. And Kirsten, here the opening ball. Good bowls there by Kirsten. And falls back in. Shot. K 
Cass Millerick outside, just the dittering behind our shoulder here, JT. And She's 10-5 up. Leading 10 shots to 5, mm -hmm. yep. Falling into Kirsten's front bowl. Forces her to change hands. There's Kirsten. Backhand now. Yeah, good area again. Would have just ran on too far. Still holds one, maybe two. I think Haley initially thought she might have been tight out of the hand. It's not tight. Shot. Just rolled on a little bit. Reaction too far, so. I still think it's only one, Sammy. I think, I think this, the, the actual short purple bowl might be second shot. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, JT. Assuming you any sort of indication. Donuts. Or not. <laughs> Anyone? No, Jimmy says it's oh. two, but would we trust him? Please, Jim. One and a measure. Confident with two. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll soon find out. Yeah. Haley hasn't got any more to come. Stick him in the backhand draw. Looks one quick. One, maybe two. Find out, JT. See, this is making me think it's only one because I reckon Kirsten was trying to trail the jack to bring her back bowl into it. I'm going to tell Jim that. Well, we'll have a look in a second. <laughs> it's a measure. One by an absolute mile, not even close. Not even close for the second. <laughs> That's why he doesn't commentate anymore. Turns the score over 15-8. I have Haley O'Reilly, Cass Millerick outside now, leading 14-5. Picking up the last couple ends. Haley is stuck to this side of the, the green that she's playing now for the entire match, Sammy. Yeah, not a bad move either. I don't think JT, especially if you can just stick to drawing for that side most of the game. Makes life a little bit easier. Just kinder, isn't just it? Just a little bit of a kinder line, that's all. Just know it's going to turn a little bit.
by the roof of the place with that one, no JT. Apologise to the viewers. Brent, I actually have no idea because he's in Mafra, so um, we, uh, I'm sure I'll find out when I do. It's probably the loser's head in a while, Sammy. Yeah, it's been a decent standard game. The score reads 15-8. Kirsten jump over and try and draw this on the forehand side. Probably tighter than what she wants to be, but if she gets her own, it's all right. Whoo! Is that done enough? Or Don't know. Hard to tell. Hard to gauge from here. I still argue there's enough room to get one in there. Haley's tight. Let's see what Does that change anything? That might turn that all the way out <laughs> for sure. Does it? It could have. Are the back ones affecting the count there? Well, they were the shots, I reckon, right? But I just don't know. Get a measure of it. Yeah. See what's going on. She might have banged her own bowl up far enough to count. Yeah, one for sure. To Kirsten. They're measuring another one. One it is to Kirsten. Just won a couple ends in a row now. 15-9. Game sort of, even though Haley still holds a six shot lead, it's even right out. Just a good start from Haley, found it earlier, picked up a four in doing so. That's where the margin has come from. Been a big day for some JT. <laughs> big week so far. Big week of bowls. Still another week to go. Mm -hmm. Still got the singles knockouts tomorrow and triples on Monday. Some triples action. Yep. Good opening, uh, Lee. Uh, st first bowl from Harley. Two. I'll give you some score updates across the green. Go for it. Atkinson versus Fleming. Atkinson is leading 2011. That's Cheryl. I said we've got two Atkinsons here today. This is close by Kirsten. Great ball. Oh, a lovely shot. Just, just trail the jack. Makes Made, one. Makes one. Uh, next rank, Cullinane playing Ross. Cullinane is leading 20 to 3. McCormick versus Flynn. McCormick is leading 18 6. Bartell versus Spicer. Bartell, uh, Spicer leading 14 5. Uh, Gibkiss versus Hunt. Hunt leading 17 10. And Smith versus Draffin. Smith is leading 15 9.
Don't reckon Kirsten's far away again. Gets her own. She's a chance of... Might be one in, one out in that scenario, but it's a lot better one. Good bowl. Hayley. Is she going to get down? No. Reckon it's one to Kirsten again. Pretty a little run together here if it is. It's another run of three ends in a row. We'll tick over into double figures. I'll kick one out. One it is. Pretty sure. Fifteen ten, Sammy. Sammy thought he'd have enough. I think Jimmy summoned him to do some work. And I'm rejoined by Matthew Atobre. Afternoon, JT. Just had a little break. Yeah, I seen you nut nodding your head off over there, having a sleep just about. <laughs> no, that was Jimmy. Person's holding shot at the moment. Good correction from her first to second. Probably the difference of the match too. I'm just uh, working something out very quickly here, Matty, as I talk to you. Go for it. We've played 16 ends. They've won eight apiece. So the difference has been that early on, yeah. Hayley scored multiples. And a four and end four. Yeah. Whereas... Kirsten's only done ones and twos. So otherwise, it's been a pretty even match in terms of the amount of scoring in ends. Kirsten holding, JT? I believe so. Pretty sure she was down in her first match against yeah. Margaret Hunt and fought back. Yeah. She didn't win the match, however. No. As we've said on the stream, um, for Kirsten to get through, she had to win to 13. Ailey's last bowl this in. She's just, just played it high. high. I said it happens often here on this rink. Could it be two, JT? Could be. I don't think Haley would have come in with the mindset of a certain number of shots. She wants to get this win. We'll talk about that. We just don't know whether she knew what she had to get, though. Yeah. Oh, I would have liked to know. From the set of, if you actually started badly, knowing that you don't actually have to win, but you now have to get to yeah, a score, okay. and then put less pressure on yourself. Two 
two. But the momentum has definitely swung the last four or five ends. 15-12 now. Rowanna Smith. She's playing extremely yeah, well. Yeah, I saw a four she got before. It's another one, so it puts it to 16.9 over Andraffen. Steph Hunt, I think, has already shaken hands next door. Against Jay Gibkes. Spice is already sitting down, so I assume she's got through. No, she's playing still, mate. Is she? Yep. She's down one or two on the head there, too. Oh, wow. But she's up on, well up at the moment on the card. Yep. Great starting bowl by Kirsten. Looking to steal this from Kirsten. Good bowl. Still wonder, Kirsten. Spot on, Benny. She is, in the last five or six ends, she's been far more consistent. Oh, a good bowl here too, JT. Reckon he might see a little bit of reaching mm. away from Haley. Yep. Why didn't she? I think she is. Oh. Like the shot. force Kirsten to go back. I, um, obviously, Kirsten's going to cover the back right, but I don't actually really think she needed to because one, she's got a toucher, and two, there's nothing behind. So even if Haley does hit this, it's going to take some amount of luck to still get shot. Haley not as quick as her previous bowl. It's not getting down still, though, Maddie. No, it's not. It's another two. That is five consecutive ends in a row. 15-14. Such a mental game, JT, isn't it? Singles. Haley was dominating early.
Another good starter here from Kirsten. Plenty of support on the socials for Kirsten. Do a bit of a score update across the greens to Matteo. Atkinson defeated Fleming 21-11. Cullinane defeated Ross 21-4. Cormick is leading Flynn 20-9. Flynn is still alive because she uh, she's kicking the balls back to start another end. Spicer leading Bartel 18-5. Hunt leading Gippus. Now that one's finished. finished. Hunt won that one. They yep. just haven't updated the scoreboard. And Le Smith leading Draffin 17-11. Haley looking to take that meter off. Fraction over. That ball's probably shot, Matty. Yeah, my favourite. Good call, Shane. Bit of a grimace from Haley there. I think she thinks it's wide. No, it's trying to get down. Person like that one out of her hands based off her body language, Maddie. No, it's a little bit short. So Haley stay there. She is lining up forehand. Yeah, there's definitely room on the back on the forehand to play tight. I mean she just doesn't need to push it wide. She's under. Now it's a speed now. She might have rolled on too far again, I think. Measure JT. Oh, Haley conceding that Kirsten has shot, but then Kirsten wants to have a look at her other bowl. See if she may have two. I didn't think that one was in, but it would be proven wrong. No. One, one it is. We're locked up again. Maddie, 15 all. 15 all. Haley taking a little bit of a break out the back. Having a drink. Composing herself.
First ball pressure from Kirsten. Mm -hmm. It's been the difference the last seven, eight ends. Haley doesn't look too far away either, Maddie. No, this is close. Great starter. Yeah. Not quite a toucher. Kirsten looking to reply. Oh, it's close. What a ball. It is. Clap from Matty O up on the balcony. Oh, he's up there now. Yes. He's over to the side here just before. looking to get her ball up. Oh, it's a great effort. Breaking this streak of six ends. 16-15. Sorry, I did take a moment there. Out first leg of the quaddy. No good, Matty. No, not the time to go out. Like, literally nose in a photo finish. I was already counting me winnings. <laughs> that was the problem, JT. <laughs> All right, Haley, getting the mat after six ends.
Last bowler Haley's uh, forcing Kirsten to switch the forehand. Question of last bowl shot. Margaret saying Haley's holding. Looks like better weight, JT, but into a short bowl. Don't think she's getting there. She's not passing Haley's anyway. No, she's not. Bowl here, isn't it, Matty? Yeah, this is sharp. Might even lay the other one down behind of Haley's. Not quite rested up alongside it. One to Kirsten, so we're back to 16 all. Start here from Kirsten. Puts the pressure on Haley. Looking to draw this off. Needs to get down.
Jimmy in the uh, commentary. Afternoon, hey, Jimmy. I'll have a turn my mic up, mate. What's going on? It's a bit, uh, bit happening in this one. Yeah, it was it's going Haley's way until Kirsten. Got six ends in a row. And applying the pressure to Haley. Fair standard. She's holding a couple here. Bit of coverage with the last one. So it's up to Haley to force a shot here. She's tried a couple times to draw it, Jimmy. Yeah, I'd probably give up that option right now. However, that sort of front She's bowl. looking at. Front bowl stops a forehand swinger and she will draw possibly second shot here. Possibly not. Cracker next door, mate. Rowena Smith, yep. 17 apiece of Andraffen. Net McCormack, couple rinks down, leading Leonie Flint, 20 to 14 as well. You assume at this stage it's winner takes all without looking at the ladder. Yep, no, you're right there. And Annette finding hard to get that one to win. It's always a way, isn't it? I wouldn't know too much. Not often I get to 20 in a singles game yep. these days, mate. Not good enough for second shot by the looks of it. No. Ooh. Although we're behind the ball, so it's hard to see if it's actually touching. I think it might be two, Jimmy. Just one. a one. Two, Kirsten. Yeah, a bit of pride for Kirsten here. It'd be a great fight back if she can get this. You assume these two are in, are they both in the city sides for city country? Not sure, Jimmy. I'm guessing. If I was a selector, they would be. I know, I would assume they both are. So it'd be good uh, to walk away with the W. Despite the fact you can't get through the section now. Wanted to be giving it a nudge. 17, 16 up. You want more tip on this one, buddy? We've had about 100 ones in the last 99 ends. There's a four here, she checks out. That's my tip. As this one doesn't go too close. That's why I'm a mark mute. Should have said anything worse. No, it's not bad. Not there with that one, Jimmy. Hayley with a chance here then, Muddy. Put some pressure on. A couple of wayward bowls. Yep. This looks like good weight too, Jimmy. On a couple now. Afternoon, Jess. Now, um, Kirsten lost her first and Haley won her first. Sort of section's over now. She needed to beat Kirsten to 14. Uh, Kirsten needed to win. 21-13, and so Haley therefore needed to get to 14, and got there a while ago, but has struggled to pick up many more since. Chance to hold three here. Yeah, this is looking good, Jimmy. This is where a big bowl on top of the jack reel puts the pressure. Just asking if she's three down. Margaret just nodding. Yeah, not giving much away there. <laughs> sort of. Good job she's got long hair, you wouldn't have noticed. Big bowl here. She looks like she has better pace 
Maybe a, a little, little bit too much. Oh no. Shot. Shakes the shot. Hayley, chance to make a four if she can sit that bowl, follow it down, pretty similar. Three or four feet on her last, she'll sit that clean out for four. So I'm gonna a look if she can see that bowl, or just whack it out of there, mate. Problem is she doesn't have much behind if she does come at the forehand on it. Chances, Maddie. She's looking for the bowl. Jack's not amazing. Looking for the bowl. Jack's not a bowl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, she got close to going four down, three down, and close to going four up at the same time there. Just missing the jack and the bowl. Cracking effort. Wonder. Kirsten takes it at 18. Looks like Annette McCormick has uh, got to 21 against Leonie Flynn. Ring six, David. 17 apiece on the big scoreboard, but I feel like Anne picked one up last dance. 18 17, I think she leads. Just don't think they've updated it. She's about it. to trail a jack, for make it two. And she's holding possibly two, the few more balls to come on this end. I hope you heard that then, Al. So I think she's 18 17 up. Kirsten looking to add a good metre from her first. She hasn't. Hayley looking to repeat her first bowl. Just goes past it, but holding two. to now changing. I don't think it changes the situation. Two to Haley. <coughs> Haley wants to drop a mat. She's going to get on that high line here. Not be able to get back in. Speed was good again. Same as the other two. Played an absolute whopper with the last yeah, fourth she's bowl. she's done it a few times, Jimmy. Saving it with her last bowl. You just don't want to be high on this side. Should be okay with good pace here. I think she's a bit quick though, mate. Hayley with a chance to draw a third. She's had three goes at it. Uh, I can confirm next door that Andruffen has, in fact, now won. 21 17, she takes that game. Looked like a great contest there. She beats Rowena Smith 21 17 as they.
Bryce. Yes, better way, Jimmy. And that'll be a third for Haley to move her to 19. And the dying embers of this game. She takes the lead again. and just checking if it's three. I think it will be. Yep. Already on the scoreboard, mate. Right? Umpire all over it. Yeah, it was not messing around there. Ran out of scorecard and Margaret Hunt, the marker, ran across the umpire, who woke up from his mid-afternoon nap and has uh, <laughs> got a scorecard ready to go on the sidelines. Great stuff. I'll tell you what, Manny, I wouldn't want a mid-afternoon nap. I've heard you've been napping quite a bit so far in this uh, well, tournament. Mate, I was grafting up there. I was actually grafted. Oh, great start, Haley. Yep, two big bowls is all she needs to get out of here, but Aston just needs three big bowls. Should be a fun last couple of ends. She's close, but just short with that one. Good way, just missed the line slightly. Should say one there, Hayley here, Margaret. Yeah, confirms that. She can get a front nose or ear, Maddie. She Just can put the pressure right on. from the last bowl. The pressure put right on. there. Let it get down. Urging it to get down. Urging it to hurry. Probably the line for the front toucher then. She's a couple of feet of pace. Not ducking at the end. Kirsten needs to connect on the inside edge of this, Maddie, not the outside. Let's it flush mm. back. It's highly got. to stay off the white. Oh, try. Needs to stay off the white. Oh, oh no. Promotes it. Giving the shot away. She's uh, a bit gutted about that. Cruel game. Silly sport. <laughs> okay, some of the chance to yeah. add another. To make it 20, 19. There's a bit of room for her. Oh, 
edge. Good edge, but not good enough edge. So 19 apiece. Right to the wire, this one. If they're clever, they'll finish it this end because the balls bags are up there. Nineteen all. Thanks, Andrew Sully. <laughs> right. This is it. Just holding. Yeah, just missing it. So Haley's got an opportunity to put the pressure on with her first bowl. Got the speed. Not quite. It's forced to change a hand for Kirsten. Just a bit high. Haley looking to make the correction. Yeah, big bowl there, and the pressure's right on uh, Kirsten. So she can just get up, just touch her own, or just go past it. She's a little bit quicker than she wanted to be here. Still room, but just by weight of holding shot, or maybe two shots, it's enough to create some pressure. Dying into this game. When you're at that point, you just want to win so much. You're like, oh, I've come this far. Might as well, might as well win. Haley holding two. Looking to make it three. Kirsten stand there having a really good look at it. Kirsten going back to the forehand. I favour that she's down game at the moment. Opting just to draw it. Has she done it? It's very close. Hayley clapping. Hallie have having a good think about this. If she can get rid of the bowl, it's game. Doesn't want the jack to go back. Lining up backhand. Looking to get shot bowl.
So it's another one to Kirsten. That makes it. Twenty to nineteen. Kirsten looking to get the one and get the win. I don't think she realises the ball on the mat. line but just a little bit through gives Haley a chance to put the pressure on it's better wait Kirsten replying and get shot. Yeah, she keeps finding a bowl, hey. Every she every does. time she keeps finding one. Just as you think Ailey's gonna take it. She goes good. What's the reply from Hayley like Jimmy? I don't think she's got the legs, mate. You're right. Very close though. Just giving up. Maybe flops in to go straight, but the angle I'll say I think Kirsten's still holding. Yeah, Marka thinks that Kirsten's holding also. She's going to play this forehand. Front toucher here can almost finish the game. If she can just arrive on that jack, tuck it behind the pack of bowls. She's quicker than that, unfortunately for her. But yeah, that would be the ideal. Hayley is going to try and find some movement on her own bowl. If she just misses wide, she'll... It's a shot sit the inside of Kirsten so it's a couple of options at play for her and she's in the area here yeah, but maybe turning too early oh she's just under Jack so Kirsten with another chance to finish the game because if she does get this slight front touch it is very hard to see how Hayley gets shot looks better Jimmy better speed mate better far for the better toucher. speed Probably, Ooh. it was probably a tad too quick as well, but she nearly jacked that jack sideways. All right. Well, this is it, mate. This is it. Haley stalking it. Better, mate. Has close she got, here. Got the bowl. Very close got the here. Bowl. Gets it oh. right, but also moves Kirsten's oh. as well. What's happened here? She also moved Kirsten's as know. well. Very hard from our angle to tell who's got shot there. I think Hayley wants to stay away from it. Well, the marker knows. She's already writing on the card. Hayley reckons she's got shot here. Mm. And I think Kirsten's agreeing. It is one day, Hayley. She got the <laughs> shot. Well, we've come this far, Maddie. We might as well go to a finale. 20 apiece. Great stuff from Hayley. Cracking finish to this game. Thoroughly enjoyable. I don't think Haley wanted to have a look at it. She thought she had shot, but oh, 20 all. Sudden death now. Kirsten, of course, will have last bowl now. Everyone sort of thinks that's probably a preferred the option. Deepest I've seen the jack go for a while. She got stiff then, Haley. The fact she moved Kirsten's bowl, but yeah, I thought she had the shot bowl. She'd done enough. She played the right shot. It's 
probably a touch too quick of anything, but she just got stiff, I think, that she flicked into it. Still getting it, nonetheless, and she's going to lead a pretty good one here, Matty. Yep, good starter. It's a cracking game, David. And right to the wire. That's what you want to see in a singles game. 20 apiece. Just a shame there's got to be a loser. Hayley will go through this section regardless of if she wins this end or not. Courtesy of a relatively big win in this morning's game. Definite some pride at stake here. And as I mentioned earlier, you've come on this journey, mate. Why would you want to lose at this point? She's got the legs. Jimmy, great line. Might force a change of hand there. It does. Yep. Small mental win for Hayley. Oh. A bit under. Yeah, but. I think she turned it a little bit Weird out of things the can happen here, buddy. Oh. Oh. Edge of that, she was going right under the jack. Haley opted to change hands as well. She's on a better line now. Yep. This is yep. a this is a good bowl. Good bowl this. This is a great bowl. It's a V shot. The only bad thing for Haley, she's just shown Kirsten exactly how to do it. So if she can play that same bowl Haley played, she'll sit inside it and hold shot. And one ball left each. But here we go. She's off the mat after yeah, it, Maddie. That's, a, that's, that's a better line. That is a better line for her. Then her first. And it's starting to turn oh, now. Oh, is it going to get down? Starting to turn get now. Get down. Oh, oh. Falls out. Turtled against that. She actually held a fraction rod at the end for her. I haven't watched too much this game before the sort of seven or eight ends I came in. Has she been playing weight at anything, Kirsten, or not? Not a lot. Both them bowls go. They're right next to each other. Haley put something in the line. It's a nuisance bowl. Mm. It has to be. Oh, she can't draw this now. She has to play forehand. Onto the bowls, yeah. Onto the bowls. Jack's good. She's right next to us, so I won't talk too loud because I'll be mm. mobby influencing a shot. But <laughs> that's. I think if she goes under that purple, she's going to have to go under it by sort of two stickers width. It's just too risky. It's too low percentage. I think the shot is forehand. Up and at it. Up and at the two purple. She's got second, third, and probably fourth shot as well. I wonder if she looks up at... Yeah, I'm looking at Maddie. <laughs> From the balcony. No. She's I know, focused. I know Matty I'd be going four round at it. All right, Let's see go. what she lines up with. No, backhand no, it she's is. She's backing Jimmy. herself in. She's backing herself to get underneath that bowl and get to the jack or draw the shot. Here she goes. How's she looking, Jimmy? It's going to hit the front one. Get the jack. Oh. Back to Haley. So Haley will take this one. What a great contest. Absolute cracking game. Yeah, played in great spirit. 20 to Haley O'Reilly. Reminder that she was about 15. Not many up early in the game. And Kirsten fought right back. Braced by the players. Terrific stuff. Haley O'Reilly will take this 21 20. She'll win both games in this section. Um, I also included Margaret Hunt, the marker. She'll go through to tomorrow's. Knockout play where the women's will be split evenly across Toronto. When we and we see those draws, Jimmy, a little uh, bit later on. Yeah, mate, we've got to wait for the results from the others, but another half an hour, 45 minutes an hour, around that sort of time frame. Um, Looking forward to tomorrow's action, knockout, again quick, from Terrelgan. Yeah, the quicker someone gets me something from the bar, the quicker the draws will be out, <laughs> I reckon. So it's a tip to you all. All right, have a good evening. We'll be back 9 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, Stream tomorrow. From Terrelgan. Women's singles um, knockout. Um, look forward to seeing you then. See everyone.
The Tarelgan Bowls Club. Amazing food for you and your family. Function rooms for celebrating with your friends. Corporate spaces for meetings and conferences. With special benefits for members, visit us today at the Tarelgan Bowls Club. More than just a bowls club. Wherever I am in the world, there's a hence light bowl for you. On all surfaces, all conditions, the grip, the comfort in the hand, fantastic bowl to play with. Oh,